Ruby. I'm Tom Percival. I'm an author and illustrator. I've made books like Ruby's Worry, Ravi's Raw, Perfectly Norman, um, a whole bunch of pitch books that explore emotions and how we feel about things. Um, but today I'm going to be talking about Dream Team, Attack of the Heebie Jeebies, uh, which is a fiction series I've just written. And it, it's in many ways different to the picture books. It's thicker for a start. Uh, it's got a lot more pages, got a lot more pictures, 73, not that I'm counting. I was counting, it took a long time to do. However, the one thing that is the same is that I'm exploring similar themes, emotional resilience, well-being, and just generally the idea of emotional intelligence, how we feel about things and why we might be feeling that way. So even though the Dream Team books are packed full of excitement and adventure and you can pull down fluffy clouds from the sky and ride on them like aeroplanes, they're also grounded in relatable emotions like anger, frustration and the idea of exploring self-confidence. Over the course of the first book, we meet Erica, a girl who's struggling with her temper, and she meets the Dream Team. Wade, a giant stone man with a penchant for donuts, and Silas, a boy made entirely out of shadows, and Sim, a shapeshifter who's sometimes a boy, sometimes a girl, but is always kind and helpful. It's the Dream Team's job to find people who are struggling with their emotions, and what they do is they help them work through the way they're feeling in their dreams, so that when they wake up, they're better equipped to cope with whatever challenges they might be facing in their daily lives. So it's all going pretty well until Erica's dream gets gobbled up by a horde of ravenous heebie-jeebies, and it looks like her troubles are only just beginning. What I thought I'd do now is work through a little drawing exercise. I might take a character from the book, maybe Erica, maybe one of the others. Um, what we'll do is I will, I'll show you how I would go about putting expression into a character's face, because obviously the books are all about emotion and how we feel, and when you're drawing characters it's really important that you get to show whether they look happy or sad or frustrated or worried or any one of these emotions, uh, and that's what we're going to look at right now. So, hopefully this will all work. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're only going to draw really simple shapes. Hands up, who can draw a circle? I can. I mean, it's a good job. I'm a paid illustrator. If I couldn't draw a circle, I probably wouldn't have a job. So we'll start off. I'll draw a circle here. OK, so if you can draw a circle, can you draw another circle, slightly smaller? I bet you can. What we're going to do is we're going to do two slightly smaller circles around about in the middle. Now we're going to draw a half circle, okay? So we're sticking with all the simple shapes. So we've got a half circle here, half circle there. We're going to branch out a bit and we're going to do a little triangle, okay? Stay with me. I know it's getting pretty complex. So we're going to do a little triangle here, okay? And what we're going to do is you're going to draw this six times. I am not going to draw it six times. I am going to duplicate this one time and again. Duplicate. Life got so much easier for me uh, when I bought this iPad. Duplicate. All of those three. So now we have six figures. Uh, it'll have taken you longer because you've drawn them all. What we're going to do is I'm going to have all of these characters on the top row. I'm going to have them all looking to the right. So again, we do a little circle. That's going to be the pupil. You can fill, fill this one in. Uh, and on the bottom ones we'll have them all looking left. It doesn't really matter, it's just for a bit of variety. Okay, doosh, doosh, doosh. On the top row, I'm going to give them all little smiley mouths. On the bottom row, I'm going to give them all little, little sad mouths. Okay, so by and large, these all look more or less the same. The top row all look the same. And the bottom row look the same. Oh, let's give them some hair. So uh, what colour should we go for? Blue. I like blue. Uh, so we'll go for some sort of blue hair. And actually, it looks definitely like I've not drawn Erica. I forgot I was going to be drawing Erica. 
but there you go. So scribble, scribble, scribble. Blue hair here, nice electric blue. Um, and then let's do a different hair for the ones on the bottom, purple. So we'll have purple hair here. Purple hair like this. And purple hair like that. So we've got a bunch of characters. Oops. Like this. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to put in the emotion. What we're going to do is I'm going to add something that's going to really demonstrate how the character is feeling. So the mouth does something, but there's something else we can add that really demonstrates emotion. Any ideas what that might be? Any ideas at all? Okay, that's right, it's an elbow. Look, see, this one's a sad elbow, and this one is a happy elbow. Right, not really, it's, uh, it's eyebrows, of course it's eyebrows. So look at the picture here, and look at the first two characters, okay? So at the moment, they look identical. And if I draw the eyebrows going up like this, then my character looks calm and happy. But if I draw the eyebrows going down, your character looks mischievous and naughty, kind of like they're up to no good. A tiny little change, literally just the eyebrows, instead of going like that, they go like that, and your character looks completely different. It gives them a whole different personality. And similarly, if you have the eyebrows kind of like wobbly and sort of rising right up in the middle, then you have a character who's like, okay, I guess this is all right, but I'm a little bit nervous. So you have a sort of nervous look to it. And again, on the bottom row, if we have the eyes going, the eyebrows going kind of up a bit, then your character looks sad. If we have the eyebrows going down, combined with the sad mouth, then your character looks angry. And if we have the eyebrows curling up and the sad mouth, then your character looks worried and sad at the same time. So, there you go. That is one of the things that I think makes a really expressive character. It's all about the eyebrows. So if you can do that in your drawings, then you will be able to create some really expressive pictures with really simple shapes. Um, it's just circles, a triangle and some scribbles. I mean, we can pretty much all do that. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this and have a great day. All right, bye.